exactly what happened. But the president did ask uh, Kunjuri to stay in cabinet and to help him. Because remember that during the last general election, uh, Mwangi was already a cabinet secretary. And um, the president did ask him to stay. And in fact, I remember here at Nanyuki here, um, a meeting where the president actually requests the crowd and says, look, let Mwangi stay with me and help me. Um, and then you guys proceed. Um, how do I get it? I would say four things. Thing number one is that Kenyans uh, like fairness. Kenyans actually like fairness. And Laikipians were very incensed because I was mistreated or treated unfairly in, uh, in Jubilee. Because remember, I participated in Jubilee nomination exercise. And uh, it was clear to any observer that I had won and that some machinations had, uh, you know, had, had gone about. Uh, resulting in the ticket being handed to my competitor or being announced. The party uh, dispute tribunal also found that, in fact, I had won and ordered that the ticket be given to me. Uh, the competitor then went to the political party's tribunal, which handed it to him. Okay. Then the, we, the matter went to the high court. But by that time, you know, senior officials of Jubilee were, were honest with me. And they said, look, you look for plan B. Because the instruction we have, yeah. So, so I leave Jubilee and go independent. Mm -hmm. where, where, yeah. where do you? Um, you know, I can only speculate. I can only speculate. But it certainly William had a lot to do with, with the nomination processes uh, last time. But frankly, that's just speculation. I have no proof because the official never told me who gave him the instruction. Uh, but there was a lot of pressure. Uh, you know, and what I would say is that you know, uh, William was the one who had more to do with uh, the nominations than uh, than Uhuru. Yeah. They did. Because they were the same ones who had participated in the nomination. So we have nominated this. You can't tell us it didn't